now you attack. Oh. No libido to attack? Oh. Oh. Wow. Did not see that coming. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary, and today I'm going to be watching a movie called More Rats. Now, I've already watched Clerks. That's on my channel. And after I watched that movie, people were like, you have to watch More Rats. And it's so funny. It's so good. And I was like, you know what? I loved Clerks. I'm absolutely down for that. It's just been a while since I've seen Clerks. Not a while, a while. It's maybe been like a month or two finally watching more rats and i'm excited for this one i'm going into it blind but i do know that jay and silent bob are going to be in this movie just from memory from the comments that i read and i know that it's a comedy and that kevin smith has written and directed it i love kevin smith he <laughs> liked one of my tweets and i don't expect people who have a big following on twitter to ever like my tweets so as soon as he did that i was like you know what I like you even more now for some reason. And he's a nerd. He's a nerd. I saw that in Clerks as well. I went and researched him. He has a podcast. He's a big fan of comic books and the MCU and Star Wars. So we can all kind of relate to Kevin Smith. I'm so keen to keep watching his movies, to be honest. So let me know what other movies he's made that you guys can recommend. I'd be keen to discover them on my channel. Before we jump into more rats though, I want to remind you guys about the uncut version. That is going to be over on Patreon. The link for that is in the description bar and in the pinned comments below. You just need a copy of the film so that you can watch it along with me. There will be a timer. Screen will be blurred and I'll be on one screen and the movie can be on another screen down in the description bar in the pinned comments you can also find all of my social media handles so instagram twitter twitch discord tiktok facebook as well as my two other channels my gaming channel and my vlog channel so guys let's jump into more rats one time my cousin walter got this cat stuck in his ass cat stuck in his he bought it at our local mall so the whole fiasco wound up on the news but the next week he did it again what different cat same results complete with another trip to the emergency room so i run into him a week later in the mall and he's buying another cat and i says to what, him, what the what heck you, you know you're just gonna get this cat stuck in your ass too why don't you knock it off and he said to me brody how the hell else am i supposed to get the gerbil out my cousin was a weird guy I don't know how seriously to take that story. <laughs> what a weird introduction. Okay. Shannon Doherty. I used to love Charmed as a kid and I loved Prue. Brody man. Ben Affleck. Okay. Stanley is actually in this film. He's in the credits in the intro. Written and directed by Kevin Smith. TS, did you see Julie Dwyer last night? Yeah, yeah. I saw her at the video store. She was talking about being on your dad's stupid game show. Stupid. Oh God, yeah, well, I told her that the way that TV shows are shot sometimes make you look a lot fatter than you are in real life. You know that Julie had a huge weight problem in school. Oh. She had the fattest ass. That's good. She, said that. she went straight up to the YMCA and just started doing laps because she wanted to be fit for the show tonight. Oh, no. In the middle of her 700th lap. 700th? This embolism popped in her brain and she dropped dead. What? She's fucking dead? Huh? Yes, he's really pissed at you. <laughs> well, can't you calm him down or something? Yeah, I've done that. Oh, thank God, how? Well, I told him I'd do the show. Oh, good. What? <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. no. We're, we're leaving for Florida. T.S., I'm doing this to get you out of trouble with my father. Help him yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. Him, you know? He's absolutely devastated about Julie. <laughs> he seems pretty happy. Brandy, the guy hates me. Why are you yelling? I, I bet he sees this tragedy as an excellent opportunity, as a way to keep you from going away with me. I mean, you're being a complete ass. Someone's dead. <gasps> Foreshadowing. She just said ass and then we see his ass. You know, you are exactly like my father. The two of you have so much in common. I think you should date each other. <laughs> Funny. A lot of guys end up dating anyway. their mother. A lot of girls end up dating their father. What the hell is up with this guy's head? <laughs> Christ, knock it off? What? Well, lots of Spider-Man in the background and... Finishing my game? No, 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 no. You promised me breakfast. Breakfast come and go, Renee. What the Don't heck? Work. Don't worry. I didn't let your mother see me. Who's worried? Man. Are you kidding me? I've never met a person who lives in as much fear of his mother as you do. She's got to leave this dude, dude. tell my dude. mother what we do in here at night? What, that you play video games and I fall asleep unfulfilled? <gasps> oh, wow. You never even introduced me to her. Wow. She's always in the goddamn bathroom, all right? What the hell do you do in there all the time? Fulfilling herself. Oh. <laughs> <I cry. laughs> 
any particular reason? Hey! Probably because of you, mate. What about people that make decisions that affect our lives? The doctors who make advancements in curing diseases. Oh, it's more profound. And how they only concern themselves with peers and company that apply to their goals and noble causes. Jesus, I'd hate to tell you what I think about when I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> Probably nothing. I think about all that and I cry because I have nothing better to do than you. Oh my gosh. Maybe she should stop then. Doesn't even seem that good by the way she was talking. Me? Oh, good. That was good. That was very well played. I didn't expect it, but I'm happy for her. Oh my God, Renee dumped you. <laughs> oh, she calls you callow in here. You say that like it's bad. Well, it means frightened and weak-willed. <laughs> really? That was the only part of the letter I thought was complimentary. <laughs> I too now am in the framing business. Holy shit, Brandy dumped you. I was going to propose to her. Whoa, Where? that was his big plan. Jaws pops out of the water. Uh, why? That's the That's worst the time. Thing I've ever heard. Are they kidding? Too bad I'm not trying to marry you. <laughs> I never farted in front of Renee, not once. All right, then last week I let one slip. Today she dumps me. I don't think it has I think that that's why Renee dumped anything <laughs> to well, she's do not the with shallow that. type, bro. She was going down on me at the time. Shut oh. up. What did I say? I was going to eat the fucking mall. I prefer ritual suicide. Oh, come on, man. It'll be great. They got these new cookies at the cookie stand. You have to try them. They're awesome. They're awesome. Mm. The heck? What? You want to say something? Yeah, about a million things. But ben I can't Affleck. express myself monosyllabically enough for you to understand them all. <laughs> Everybody loved you at this mall. F him. F you him. You face forward or you face the possibility of shock and damage. <laughs> he deserved that. Oh, there's a soul who might know what's up. Looks brain dead. Willem. Look at you, poopy trim. P poopy trim? So oh, enchanted. Oh, yeah. Look, it's a sailboat. You saw it too? Damn it. What? I've been staring at this thing for a week now, from opening till closing, and I can't see a goddamn thing. Poor guy. Today's my day. I brought a lunch and a soda, and I'm not going to leave until I see the sailboat everyone keeps talking about. He's got nothing better to do. Oh, oh that thing. Having some game show in the mall today. I think it's going to be on TV. It's called Truth or Date or something. Ooh. Oh, my God. That's Brandy's father's game show. What Truth is? or what Date? Is Man, why can't they bring back or remake good shows like BJ and the Bear? Now there's a concept I can't get enough of, a man and his monkey. Would you guys <laughs> shut up? Yeah, leave the guy alone. I have to start all over again. Start all over again. Interesting fellow. Wow, a sailboat. Shut up. <laughs> so triggered. It doesn't have to go down like that if we trash the thing. Trash it. Oh, there's a unique way of getting back in our good graces by ruining our father's show. You're a clever one. I can get someone to do it for us. We'll be blame free and Brandy won't be able to do the show. That is a terrible idea. Oh, kitties. Hey. Rowdy man, Nucci Nucci. Yeah. And look at this Mad fat chick killer. Oh, uh, shit out here watched Empire and Jedi last week, and ever oh. since we've been trying to do the Jedi mind trick. More Chris Star Wars references. references. So, we need you to embark on a little sabotage mission on behalf of TS's love life. Bad idea. Oh my gosh, these two are so weird. Here, you pull this crossbeam out, fucking pickety bam, the whole stage comes crashing down. I can't believe these guys. We're just gonna out with LaFour's X Men style. Should I call you Logan Weapon X? No, Wolverine, snickety, snickety, snoring. So many references. Five baby kitties. They hate you. They literally hate you. Oh my god, this guy. Well, if you stare at this poster for a few seconds, a hidden picture appears. A few Can seconds. Do it, please, please. All oh, right, go ahead. Oh my gosh, he's had about That's enough. A <laughs> you dumb bastard. Oh. It's not a schooner, it's a <gasps> sailboat. A schooner That's a kid. Is a sailboat, head. Oh no. There is no Easter bunny. Damn. Oh, that just a guy in a suit. Wow, he just became the villain. <laughs> Eateries that operate within the designated square downstairs qualify as food court. Anything I'm outside with him. of said designated square... Yeah, I'm with him. Oh, Renee. Didn't I dump your ass this morning? Look, I know you've had some time to think about the mistake you've made, and I just want to let you guys. <laughs> I'm sure you were just PMSing or something. Wow, yeah, how this guy. Answer. On your birthday, when you asked me to do a strip tease to the theme for Mighty Mouse, <laughs> I said okay. <laughs> when we were at that hotel prom, it's a good time. And even when we were at my grandmother's funeral, and you told most of my relatives that you could see her nipples through a burial dress, I let it slide. Oh, God. Ew. Do you think that I'm going to suffer any more your shit with a smile now that we're broken up? You're in for some serious disappointment. Wow. 
Go girl. Go girl. Phase one. First you take a run at the fours with the sock full of quarters. I do it, but I pull my back out humping your mom last night. <laughs> phase two kicks in. I attack the structure, Wolvie Berserk style, and knock out the pin and big Berserka. Oh no, there's the Seki. Oh my gosh. He looks crazy. Oh, go kid. Oh, wow. I thought he was going to trip and fall. Now it just looks like he tipped the security guard. Oh, well, there's the tripping and the falling. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Cherries. <laughs> what? You know that kid or something? I hope his pants get caught in a bloodbath ensues. Whoa. Whoa. Don't get me wrong, I don't wish the kid harm, but his mother should suffer that horrific ordeal so she'll learn how to manage her child. Damn, what is wrong with this guy? Wow, look who it is. What, is it Renee again? Oh, someone else. What is his problem? T.S. Quint, Trisha Jones. They call her Trish the Dish. Trish the Dish. Now, little Trisha here is only 15, but uh, what? somehow she's a senior. How'd you manage that? She looks 20. Oh my, oh my god. Pendant Publishing gave me 20,000 based on a treatment in a sample chapter. You're kidding. That's amazing. So Trisha here sleeps with a bunch of guys as research, and if that's not enough, get this. She videotapes all of them. What? What? Everybody's consent before we do it. Most guys get off on Oh, actually. Actually, at 15, wow. The little house is when we do it inside, and the grass is for Wow. Wow. It was the guy who runs that store, Fashionable Mail. Holy sh**. You slept with that asshole? Why? <laughs> I needed a 25 year old. Damn. Why is it taste for you, I might add? That's so weird because she's 15. I'm having a hard time with this. Issue. I am Your too. Of course. What? It's remarkable. That's criminal. That, kid. that is criminal. Now, what the hell is this? What do you got to do to get comics around? Coming. This place? One side, red. Oh, what? The what? They're cutting. I was warned about you. Take it easy before I have you removed from the wall. Warned? You talking about? <laughs> Who's in there? You gotta ask me nicely. Fuck this. He is such a violent guy, actually. Brody has I'm issues. Brody needs so anger management. What? Stan Lee signing comics. Stan Lee. So he's playing himself. We tidy the roof and you jump off and sell like a Spitfire, passing right over the arch nemesis the fours. You then swing up to the stage and knock out the pin. The stage is trashed and we go smoke a ball. <laughs> of course. It? Oh my gosh, he's Batman. This is actually so wild that they're doing this in the mall and not one person has seen. Oh, the kids, I guess, saw. But this, how is no one seeing this? Oh, he's like, oh, a gust of wind. Oh, must have been the wind. In the mall? Oh, no. It's her what again. Whoa, dude. <laughs> I'd be like, one time, okay. Accident, two times. You're a pervert. As the creator of some of the most important titles in comics history, coming to my mall, get by me. I must be slipping in my old age. Isn't he 17? I knew this game show thing was just a beard for an attempt at breaking us up. Why can't he just leave us alone and let us follow through with our plans? I mean, someone died. I'm talking comics and you bring up chicks and romance? Yeah. My on? grandmother always said, why buy the cow when you get the sex for free? What? Your grandma said that? Now where the hell are these two going in such a hurry? Uh-oh. Oh, uh oh, I say don't follow through with the plan. Fine, it's probably for the best. Oh, yeah. <gasps> probably looking for with a new, with a new guy. Oh, so quick. Funny. Ben Affleck was it? The asshole from Fashionable Mail. It son is. Of a bitch. <gasps> it could be. It'll explain why he hates me so much. And there's only one way to find out. She leveled up for sure. Customer is always an asshole. Oh my god. And she probably thought it was him. Are you insane? The guy looks like a date. What? Is that my jacket? How do you figure that? I can't believe oh. you have to go to my mom pick up guys. Oh, no, no, no. My? Yeah. Why are you taking me lunch at the cheese house? Purchase tickets for the opera night and brought me shopping in stores. I want to shopping. I took you shopping all nice. the time. You took me while you uh. were shopping. And do I give a shit for two major comic labels for crossing over characters selling two editions of the book of Buried in Chromium covers? I'm a girl, damn it. Uh. He's why just a nerd. I call you all the time. Yeah, that's. Shitty. Told me I was beautiful. And 
and this guy does all this in the span of a day. This guy already introduced me to his mother. Already? Oh, now you attack. Oh. <laughs> no libido to attack? Oh. Oh, wow. Did not see that coming. You sure you saw her get on, right? Maybe she was getting off. Mm, she about to get off. Oh, my God. Damn. She's into that. Poor Shannon. Oh my god, does he do that every time? He makes nerds look really bad, by the way. Right there in the elevator? I don't know what came over me. She challenged my libido. I felt obligated <laughs> to defend myself against her accusations. <laughs> oh, it's not like you still wanted her or anything. Not in the least. I'm over her. Okay. Sure, buddy. Look, deny it all you want. I think you're too proud to admit that you want her back. Yeah. I suddenly want something very bad to happen to you. What is your problem? I don't understand. <gasps> <gasps> oh, oh, it's boy, is it it's the same oh my god it's the same girl that's been perved on twice her poor tits today oh you stop saying that i know i heard you heard how i ran into her a few minutes ago really where by the stage everyone runs into everyone in this mall when i go to the mall i barely run into anyone oh yondu yondu but like bold <laughs> looks so different like this God, he's a bit of a jerk in this movie. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guard, come here. Who's gonna propose, man? If he gives you any sh you have my permission to castrate him. Yum. How about these? Very sexy. That sounded convincing. Oh my gosh. It's just where you felt like so f guy on public access. She might as well. You're overreacting again. Yeah, he really is. Oh, they were exes. You fucked Darius on a pool table. Uh, everyone watching, no less. It was a costume party, T.S. No one could tell it was me. Besides, who else but you remember sh like that? Go ahead, ask him about the elevator. Tell me about the elevator. It goes up and down. <laughs> Ever slept with somebody? Uh, yeah. We uh, slept together one time, remember, in high school, that uh, ski trip. That was you? Oh, wow. You know how when someone lays <laughs> with their back doesn't even remember. You behind them really close and you throw one arm over them? Spooning? Yeah, but you got to put the other arm somewhere. You can either lay on or just shove it in between your bodies. <laughs> but sometimes my arm pops out of socket when I'm sleeping like that. So I was constantly searching for some place to keep my arm. And? Yeah, I guess the... And that's like a metaphor for Point. a whole relationship. Oh, okay. I know exactly how he feels. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Uh oh. Want to sip of my soda? <laughs> I don't like you. One of these loser fucking mall rat kids. You don't come down here to, to, to work or shop. You hang out all day. Well, I have no respect for people with no shopping agenda. Yeah, he could lose his so job by doing this. Well, they told me to leave you alone, but she's clueless. Rude. I like to pick up girls on the rebound from a disappointing relationship. Fairly open to suggestion. Right. Use that to f someplace fairly uncomfortable. Wow, he's manipulative. <laughs> oh my god. This guy's a bad guy too. How come we went out as long as we did? You had cable. Oh. So you gonna stay for the show? Absolutely not as soon as She's so honest. What the hell happened to him? The guy in Easter Bunny suit kicked his ass. No. Now they're gonna go after the Easter Bunny. I don't know why he's lying. I guess his ego. Oh no, poor Easter Bunny. No, I don't want to see the Easter Bunny have the crap beat out of him in front of these kids. Oh no, the poor kids. <gasps> poor kids. Why would they do this in front of the children? Not the children. There she is. She's so beautiful. Not the blonde one. Brandy. When I saw how he was with you and how well you two complimented each other. Aww. T.S. is a great catch. Aww. Gwen, you were always cheating on him. Doesn't mean I wasn't regretful about it. All I'm saying is that the really good guys are few and far between. Oh. But you can have him if you want him. Believe me, I might consider trying. Why would she give the okay? If you weren't so hung up on you. I gotta get home. That's so weird. Sharing your partners around with your friends. That's just so odd to me. <laughs> Mr. Spenning. Spenning. Like with you. What do you think? I don't trust Definitely. it. You should go over there and give him shit. I'm kidding, I'm trying to marry his daughter. <laughs> All right, Still? So you, can't... you stink, Palmer. Stink, Palmer. What? 
take your hand you stick it in your ass like oh this. god you ew right now. Girl, man with his hand down his pants. yeah i probably look like my ew. old man hey mr svenning how have you been oh god what is wrong with people his colleagues and family they'll think he doesn't know how to wipe his ass properly meanwhile you yourself are left with a hand that smells like shit stop talking about it i think i'll pass <laughs> do me a favor stay here while i go talk to him Ew, <laughs> this guy is so gross. Ew, oh, yuck, stop smelling your hand. What the heck is wrong with you? I picked a dangerous mall to host a game show in. I hear the Easter Bunny was accosted this morning. <laughs> Somebody said you wanted to see me? Quince. <laughs> I accept the fact that you know that. <gasps> Ooh. Jeez, yeah. I'm sure uh, you uncomfortable. At least once or twice. Ooh, maybe a bit more. You will never. Yeah. Be with her. Hmm? Damn, dude. So Brutal. If there isn't anything else. Hey, fella. Oh, yuck. Mr. Oh, for... Spinning. How have you. Damn, oh. would you feel that iron grip handshake? Yuck. Why is it working so for him? What's going on here? What is that? That is uh, my uh, junior college class ring. Come loud, 16. Uh, I also hope to come loud one day, preferably in a 69. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want to know what he's done to it. Oh, for f Bro. Bro. What the fuck? Yo! Bathroom again. For you, babe. It's your day. That would turn me off so much. Dude, you're a mad chick, Maggie. <laughs> yes. Brody, security guards. She still cares. Oh, need help. Go. I reckon she still cares. For sure. Yeah. Sailboat. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, son of Jarrell. Damn, Jay. That's illegal. That's assault. What the heck? Oh. They went sleepy weepy. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell does he have in his coat? Holy crap, dude. Such a resourceful guy. Like a superhero himself. What a pair. Oh my god. <laughs> this Where do you is so get cute. those wonderful toys? Oh. <laughs> You're gonna listen to me? To something I said? Jesus, man. Haven't I made it abundantly clear during the tenure of our friendship that I don't know shit? <laughs> I mean, have, you know what? You need some sage like advice. But you've given me enough for one day, thanks. Not from me, from Ivana. Who's that? Oh, a psychic. Topless, of course. I should have known. What does palm reading have to do with being topless? Oh, man, it makes the news easier to take. She could tell me <laughs> I was going to die in 10 minutes. So That's, I, I mean, he's got a point. Mentally, I've already reached my lowest today. This is where I draw the line. Oh, you know, T.S. is like such a cute yeah, guy. Like, How are they friends? Guy? I've been to a psychic 66. before. Everything he said panned out pretty accurately. I do know some things. I have to work completely. Whoa! Whoa! She has three nipples. Oh, I can definitely sense the problem here. <laughs> oh and my God! He's just like. Oh, look, I need your help. Yeah, what? You two up for getting stoned? Look who you're asking. <laughs> They're always up for it. Let's be real. You were um, looking at that couple inside. Actually, I was just looking at this uh, little pink number over here. That's oh, not so Stan Lee, is it? They look happy, don't they? What, he looks the so different the with the full beard. It this reminds me of an issue of Spider-Man. He doesn't even realize. When Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy went lingerie. <laughs> oh my God. Holy shit. <laughs> Aren't you? Oh, Stanley. Hi. Stanley. That was so better than a cameo. The crowd out there and being on TV, I'd be scared as hell if I was used to. 
I'm really pissed scared I get a bone or a fart or something. Damn, dude. I can't believe I'm standing here talking to you. You're responding. Shit, man. You are a god. He really is. Look at that, Look at that couple. Well, oh, sure Stanley. Huh? You know, what's with that? That's the second time you've commented on couples in love. No, I, I like that sort of thing. Oh, no, like, Stan. She was a pain in the ass. He wanted me to be this typical boyfriend guy. Said I was too into my own world mm. of comics and all. Mm. No, I, I had a girl probably oh. the same as yours. See, what did she know? Here you are now, a legend in the field. Probably <laughs> had a slew of women since her, am I right? Lots of women. Oh. Damn, that's hot. Uh. I never forgot that girl. Oh. Well, did you ever get back together with her? One day I found out she... Oh. Uh. If this is all real, I'm gonna cry. It's Dr. Doom wears body on to conceal his own mangled form, right? Oh. Yeah. Okay. That was me beneath the armor. Oh, Stan. A normal guy one minute, <sighs> a rage of emotions the next. Oh, Stan! So you created each character <sighs> as a way to deal with your one big regret. Yeah, the girl that got away. What? Look, do yourself. Is better. this real? Good talking to you. Stan, you work. wise, you wise man. I'll you give more advice to stupid young men, please. <laughs> Spread your knowledge. Brody, I'd give it all up. All of it. Oh, Stan. Just one more day with her. Hopefully you're in heaven reunited with your lady love. But then again, she might be with her husband. <laughs> so maybe not. Oh. Hi. Hey, you know, I think he bought it. Yeah, yeah, what kind of story? <gasps> what? Uh, oh, it was the vulture soliloquy, you know, from the Spider Man anniversary issue. Love the vulture tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah well, Are I you know. kidding me? Damn, I was yeah. so emotional during that, and then I just, like, oh, it's all fake. How do you play with my emotions like that? Jesus, what's with him? Well, I don't know. I'm suddenly not feeling too well. Oh, no. We're in for something really special tonight, gentlemen. He looks. I have lined up. Terrible. Oh, God. Poor dude. Excuse me. Oh, oh Jesus. it's probably the chocolate pretzels covered in poo. Mr. Spenning has come down with a sudden case of diphtheria. This is what happened to those two. Homeboy's got a case this of is man so lunches. bad. Hey, Roddy, oh Roddy, my god. Security. <laughs> what? Ooh. Oh, oh my Christ, god. You knocked him out. Now hit him. Now hit him? This. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Truth or date? What is he wearing? Eligible suitorette. Suitorette. <laughs> I'd laugh if she ends up choosing Brody. Oh, this poor guy. Say hi to, to Doug Paging. Mm, it's not Doug Paging. Hails from Canisius College yeah. in Yeah. Where he majors in communications. A yeah, no. To Rob Feature. <laughs> Look at his face. He looks so dumb. From Monmouth State, where she majors in astronomy and earth sciences, a big wow. welcome for the lovely Brandy Spenning. She's smart. Oh, she's going to have the shock of her life. She looks good, though. Um, she not mm, look? Pseudo number one. The heck? If you were a car, what kind of car would you be? What kind of question is that? The kind you never dump your boyfriend in? <gasps> okay. That's kind of uh, funny. Second suitor. If we were making Whoopi... What's Whoopi? What the heck is Whoopi? Oh, uh, well, if we were, uh... Making... If we were being intimate... What, like, fuck... Oh, my God. God damn. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, if, if we were, But uh, Dad's here. You know, well, what, what kind of noises would you make? What the heck? In front of her dad? I, I think that's kind of personal. I don't think I should answer that. Oh, my gosh. Uh, suitor number three. What would our first date be like? Well, uh, first I'd take you shopping to the stores you'd want to shop in. Oh, that's nice. And then I'd follow it all up with a drive to a secluded beach, yeah, pop on the radio, can... and slow dance till the sun came up. Hmm. That was the biggest load of crap! <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, look at you. You're the kind of guy that would beg for sex. Damn, dude. I should know. We can smell our own. Brutal. <laughs> Makes for good TV, though, for sure. Suitor number one, if we fell in love, how would you propose to me? When Jaws popped out of the water. Oh. Excuse me? I propose to you right now. Oh. Uh, I propose that you stop letting your father run your life and you be true to yourself and not give up on somebody you know has value. Yeah, and take off your socks when you make whoopee or whatever the hell that word is. <laughs> he hates it when you leave him on. <gasps> 
What? Oh my uh, gosh. Is Suitor she dumb? number one, you you sound familiar. Did she not see them? Suitor number three. Is your kiss like a soft breeze, a firm handshake, or a jackhammer? Obviously, no one's gonna say jackhammer. Definitely a jackhammer. Oh my god, I'm in what an idiot. Pressure, and when I'm done, you're not the same as before. You're changed. Where do you come up with this shit? Uh that is the cheesiest response to an honest question I've ever heard. I saw you kiss and it wasn't anything like that. I'm actually starting to like Brody now. Who the hell did you see me kiss? Some dude backstage. I don't know who oh. he was, but he seemed to oh. oh. I didn't kiss any guy backstage, I swear. I'm not gay. Uh. <laughs> the suitorette, how about you answer oh. a question for me? This is going to be bad. Snoochy boochies. Are you ready? Oh, I don't want to see this. Were you ever in love? Yes, as a matter of fact. Ooh. What we broke up. Were you unhappy? <sighs> Sometimes. Why? T.S. Oh. Suitor number two. Hey, what about me? Ah, oh, Gil, just shut the f*** up. <laughs> <laughs> Suitor, would you ever make Whoopi in public? I already did once today. Whoopi. <laughs> but my cousin Walter jerked off in public once. True story. He was on a plane to New Mexico when all of a sudden the hydraulics went. Oh my god. The plane started spinning around, going out of control. So he decides it's all over and whips it out and starts beating it right there. Damn. How so is this okay on TV? So all the passengers are beating off. This is an insane story. Down, when all of a sudden the hydraulics kick back in and the plane rights itself. That's a pretty wild story if it's true. Well, did he come or why? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. There's just some things you don't talk about in public. Really? Second suitor? Really? If you were a comic book character, what character would you be? Tough one, though. I mean, what does one gauge's response on? How's your comic book collection, Brody? Uh, oh, it's going good, but... Oh, discovered. Oh, so you're here now, and you're ruining my father's new show. You're airing all our personal business on stage. Thanks, by the way. This bar, TS. Why didn't you just tell him the whole story? There we were, just mere hours away from spinning an entire week. <laughs> He's like, okay. He goes off. The girl who was meant to be sitting in this chair died in a pool. Ooh. And when I tried to explain this to him, he was such an asshole about it that even though it killed me to do it, I broke up with him. Mm. Hey, do I get a chance to field any more questions? No! Oh, shut up, Gil. I know both of you pretty well. Suitorette, suitor number one here has done nothing but pine over you all day, trying to figure out a way to win you back. Yeah, exactly. He pulled his shit together, risked life and limb, mm -hmm. and faced the odds to get up here and give it his best shot. Mm -hmm. Now, why don't you forget about the shit that happened and do what you're supposed to? I think the audience would agree with me there. <laughs> the audience is like, yeah, go suitor number two! We love you! Well, ask her, you silly bastard. Will you marry me? Miss Suterette, suitor number one loves you, has always loved you, and will always love you. He's only got one question that he'd like to ask. This is so romantic on live TV. Will you marry, will you marry me? Oh my gosh. What an episode. <laughs> A dad. <laughs> no, don't play the pool, please. Yes. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh my gosh. The dad. Oh, the dad. <laughs> Great show, though. The dad can't deny that, at least. Everyone's happy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not the tape. Not the tape. He's like, bye, guys. I'm not having anything to do with this anymore. Dan again. <laughs> Find another hobby, man. Come on. These two lucky people will soon be winging their way to beautiful, sunny Florida for a week of theme parks, <gasps> beaches. There you go. I guess that about wraps it up for not just yet, Pat Sajak. All right. Oh, he's gonna do the same. You. All right. I believe you have something that belongs to me. Yeah. What's that? Not you. The girl. The girl? You have my heart. Oh. Oh, how romantic. <laughs> what can I say? I love the re. Oh, wait a minute. I thought tonight we were supposed to. You know, Hamilton. Hey. <laughs> Let's try to wrap this up, all right? I promised her breakfast. You're dead, mall rat. I am gonna f you up beyond repair. Settle down. Oh, my gosh. I don't really want to see what's on the tape, dude. He's using the force. Oh, my gosh. Will it work? Sailboat. Sailboat, goddamn. Get sailboat. over the sailboat, man. Come on. Oh, wow. 
Great timing. Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't know if I want to see. <gasps> oh, Goddamn, in her back side, hey, like I thought. That girl's only fifteen. <laughs> fifteen. That she was thirty-six. What a Come pedo. On, Tell me you wouldn't have bothered. Wow. That's what he has to say. How the hell did you get it? The Force. The Jedi mind trick. Yeah. Holy <laughs> mother. <laughs> Adventure, excitement. He's stalking. Jedi craves not these things. <laughs> well, I was just wondering if maybe you're not busy tomorrow night. Introduce to your Would you like to come mother. over to my house for dinner? Tonight? Yes! Finally. Yeah, Took him time. Have you ever considered hosting your own Oh. Yeah. There you go, ambition. Oh, wow. Look at him now. Bodhi took over hosting duties on The Tonight Show, but still lives with his parents. Oh my god. Renee became Brody's fan leader and was well liked by his mom. <gasps> Look at that. TS and Brandy tied the knot after graduation. Oh, they're so in love still. <gasps> Oh my gosh, the shark at Universal Studios Florida. Trisha's book spent a record 72 weeks on the New York Best Time bestseller list. The movie will be out this Christmas. Wow. Shannon made a lot of new friends in Rahoy State Correctional Facility. <laughs> William eventually saw the sailboat. <laughs> Suzanne. Jay and Silent Bob. Well, that's a whole different story. I remember when I was watching Clerks and Silent Bob didn't say a single thing throughout the entire movie and then he has like one or two lines at the very end. I feel like maybe that's a theme in these movies, in the Clerks franchise, if you could call it a franchise. Because I wasn't expecting Silent Bob to say anything and then he said something at the end. I was like, oh my god. But I think I enjoyed more rats more than I enjoyed Clerks. I'm not saying I didn't enjoy Clerks. I should probably rephrase that. I think I enjoyed more rats more because of the references. There was far more references. It felt a little bit more nerdy the romantic storyline i think in this film i was more invested in because we had like two guys that needed massive improvement in their lives they just needed a wake-up call luckily for brody stanley was that wake-up call by the way how epic was that stanley cameo i have never seen stanley have more than probably one line or maybe at most one sentence this was amazing. I was not expecting it. And it was quite emotional too, because I mean, for all I knew, everything he was saying was true and related to his life directly. But obviously somehow TS got Stanley to agree to talk to his random friend Brody. Did he pay him? I feel like maybe he should have paid him because I don't know if regular famous people would just go out of their way to help random strangers that they don't know. Anyway, plot armor aside, I really loved the Stanley cameo. I was not expecting something like that. He was probably in the movie and he did play himself, which is pretty typical. I don't think he's ever played a character as far as I know. Do let me know in the comment section below if I'm wrong, but I don't really see him as an actor actor, but he's done a lot of cameos. And this is by far the best Stanley cameo of all time. In fact, that's probably going to be the title of this reaction video. More Rats has the best Stanley cameo of all time literally the best that aside i loved all the characters as much as i hated brody and i didn't really hate ts but i definitely saw him as egocentric and a little bit selfish especially having known that this poor girl julie died the day before and he had literally no empathy for his girlfriend's situation and what she had to do in order to essentially help him and make him look like the better guy because he was the reason for julie's death well <laughs> He wasn't the reason reason, but he was slightly responsible. But he wasn't as bad as Brody. Brody was completely unbearable. He lived with his mom, which isn't unusual for a guy his age. That wasn't really the problem. It was the way he was behaving and especially towards Renee. Just his general behavior was just really unbearable, really chaotic, quite aggressive and sometimes violent as well rude arrogant everything was essentially wrong with him but then when he spoke to stanley and he had a little bit of hindsight that was gifted to him by stanley he really just changed his ways and he became the man that renee really just needs him to be 
I'm just so glad that Shannon got his comeuppance. As soon as I heard that story about Trisha, I was like, dude, that is so illegal. And also how were Trisha's parents okay with her doing an experiment for a book? One has to do with sex. Two, she's 15 years old and they knew that she would be sleeping and recording all of her encounters with men between the age of 15 to 30. Like how? I think I know it's the 90s. This was made quite a long time ago. This was released in 1995. So times were maybe different, but that's still illegal. <laughs> how are her parents okay with it? Other than the fact that they only care about money perhaps trish is a very bright girl perhaps they had faith in her but she could have definitely gone anywhere with her talent and also if she was set on that idea she could have potentially waited until she was 18. that's a whole different topic that i probably just won't go into because this is a comedy and trish's experiment was not like the highlight of the movie or a major plot point in the movie it helped at the end when they were exposing shannon for sure which was great absolutely love that i didn't really want to see it. i didn't know what they were going to show but as soon as i saw brody up on the stage and he had signaled to trisha and silent bob and then he started talking to shannon as well i was like yeah i know why he wants the tape to be shown now i understand completely oh it was just great brody as much of an a-hole he is he's quite an entertaining guy apparently the audience loved him and Renee always thought that he had no ambition nowhere to go in life but it seems as though he makes for a great entertainer and she's working alongside him now and TS and Brandy had their happily ever after so I think it was really wholesome really really just funny entertaining cute movie it's up there probably in my favorite rom-coms because it's not like a traditional rom-com but it's got its own charm to it and it definitely sets itself apart from other traditional rom-coms and they had a much bigger budget for this film as well you could just tell everything just looked better there was a wider cast the set was bigger it was still quite dialogue heavy which was the same as in clerks i noticed that like i didn't really find a lot of moments where i could speak because they were just talking all the time which is also fine i was just trying to take it in and listen as much as i could i normally like to wait until the characters finish talking so i can have a break to say something or proper react or commentate but there weren't a lot of breaks in this so that's just the one thing that i noticed i don't think there was anything wrong with that but it's just something that i noticed i thought the pacing and the comedic timing was really good as well and we got to see yondu well yondu's not his name but I just felt so bad for him. Freaking Brody and his poo prank. That was just such a disgusting scene, but it's memorable for sure. I feel like if I were to watch this film five years time, I have a very bad memory, but I'll probably remember that scene for a very, very long time. It was very gross, but I guess it needed to be done in order for their plan to hatch and in order for TS to propose to Brandy and it worked. I don't think the dad will be very happy about it, but he has no choice now because they're engaged slash married, married in the future. Anyway, let me know your thoughts about this film in the comment section below. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help me out. And also let me know if you want me to react to the rest of this series, if you enjoyed this video. For the uncut version and early access and all that stuff, link is in the description bar and the pinned comments below. Over on my Patreon, you just need a copy of this film so that you can watch it along with me. I can be on one screen, movie can be on another screen. Down in the description bar and the pinned comments, you can also find all my social media handles, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, TikTok, Facebook, as well as my two other channels my gaming channel cherry plays and my vlog channel very cherry so thank you so much for watching take care of yourselves guys and i'll see you in the next video bye everyone